Hi everyone, this is Davide Mancini from Sound Machine Italy. Uh, we are a manufacturer and developer of uh, Eurorack uh, modular uh, system uh, stuff. Uh, we are on the market uh, since uh, 18 months, so we are pretty young on this uh, area. And today we will show you all of our production very quickly and then uh, a couple of stuff that we made up for, for the Music Mess uh, uh, fair in uh, Frankfurt. Oh, okay, uh, I, I would like to start with the DC1 drum computer. Uh, this is a very powerful 8-track uh, and 16-step uh, uh, drum trigger sequencer. 8 triggers, uh, okay, the, the classical input and output of clock. And uh, the, 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 the big innovation is uh, these four CV inputs for, uh, for modulating uh, every parameter of this, uh, of this uh, stuff. For example, we can start with this, uh, this, uh, uh, this pattern. And you can see that I connected one of our modules, that is uh, the light strip, to the uh, roll on the second, uh, on the second track, that is the hi-hat or with the, to the density of uh, the snare drum that is on the, on the fourth track. You can see uh, from, from the display in real time that the track is growing and, uh, and going down in active steps. Uh, for each of these uh, A, B, C, D input you have a lot of, uh, a lot of different possibility. So you can modify uh, tempo, shuffle, uh, you can loop through patterns, uh, you can use the fill-ins with an impulse, uh, random sequence, density for each of the seven tracks, random beats for each of the eight tracks, uh, Euclidean modes uh, and trigger land, mutes uh, and rolls. This for, you have the possibility to have uh, four of these parameters under CV control from any modules from a slow LFO to this kind of uh, recordable LS1. This is one of our best-seller modules and is the light strip. It's a capacitive interface, very robust and available. And, uh, and uh, you can, uh, you can uh, use to output the CV and gate of uh, uh, 0.5 volt or 0.10 volt. Uh, this is the biggest brother and is uh, uh, three-dimensional because uh, it is also sensible to pressure. And also in this case you can have a hold or just, uh, for example, record and having the LP1 light plane playing back the whole sequence. Uh, you can also, uh, with a jumper, change the direction of the gate. It becomes an input and it will uh, synchronize the recording to, uh, uh, an, external, uh, to an external sequencer. Um, the snare that you're hearing is made from our uh, UL1 micro loop uh, that is a very small uh, sampler looper. Uh, I can. It has a, uh, just an audio tonator on the input uh, to record uh, online, and then the tune pot uh, that uh, when you can, when turn counterclockwise, it will be uh, subjected to an external CV uh, to to change the sample rate. Uh, we, uh, so this is uh, what, what is happening here on this part of the case. Uh, on this other part we have uh, uh, the biggest of our module, that is the Sound Machines uh, uh, Radio Star. Radio Star is a very innovative module, we are starting uh, commercializing it uh, right now. And it is a 24-track uh, uh, DAO interface uh, without, using, without the need to use a PC. Uh, as you can see, we have uh, developed uh, a software with a few, uh, with a few uh, stuff. Uh, we have uh, real-time uh, uh, modulation of uh, each of the 16 control voltage output. Uh, we have a live keyboard with chromatic scale. Uh, we have an XY pad, a gate sequence that is the one uh, that is driving. Uh, you can see that, uh, okay, you can hear the, the double, uh, double stuff. And then we have a piano roll with, uh, with the notes uh, that you are hearing right now, played by this uh, synthesizer. Uh, 
obviously the the sequencer is slaved to the to the DC one drum computer that we showed you before, and uh, uh, we can also control with the gate, for example, the one of our first modules that is the Roboto that makes this. It's kind of a robotic, uh, the robotic voice and stuff. And okay. Uh, uh, another thing that we would like to do is to cross-contaminate uh, sectors and markets. So we develop this uh, CV to. Uh, DMX lighting fixture interface. Basically, we are accepting CV inputs and we are going to uh, go on the DMX bus, that is the industry standard for lighting equipment for the sh for show business. Uh, so the, the 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 people that as a modular that more and more are using it for live uh, stuff can also add the light dimension to their shows. Uh, now uh, we can come very quickly to the to our. Uh, two uh, Frankfurt Music Mess specials, that is the HB1 Heartbeat and the BA1 Breathalyzer. Uh, the HB1 uh, Heartbeat basically reads your heartbeat through one of these uh, uh, polar stuff, uh, that is a chest strap for earth rate that is uh, in the gyms. Uh, when the LED is green, the signal is okay. And this is uh, uh, the, my heartbeat that you are you are, that you are uh, hearing right now. So if you are going to, for example, to jump or to run around, you will hear the, 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 the clock that is uh, going uh, quicker. Uh, we have also a CV output to modify, I don't know, filter cutoffs and other stuff. Um, so, uh, the other one, the other module is a very curious one, but we are nevertheless going to produce. Uh, it's a breath alcoholic uh, uh, to CV control. Uh, we are uh, we are going to test it uh, with the help of uh, Claudio. <laughs> Sorry, just. Okay, we are going uh, uh, simply to modify the, the cutoff frequency of the synthesizer with uh, the, uh, the, the alcoholic uh, level in Claudio's uh, uh, breath. Please. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, this could be very interesting during parties or during uh, uh, some, uh, some uh, performances uh, or you can just test your friend for being sober or not so sober. Uh, last but not least, uh, we developed actually a brain to computer, to, to musical instruments interface. Uh, this is the first commercial product in the world that uses the NeuroSky headset and uh, uh, gather all the data from this device and it will uh, uh, present the data uh, in uh, CV gate and MIDI output to be used from any, 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 any kind of a musical equipment. Uh, in this case I will uh, just try to show you how it behaves. You just put the, the headset uh, you connect this to your ear as a reference point and uh, uh, the headset will read uh, your uh, brain waves through this sensor. When uh, the... Now we will... Okay. Now we are controlling the, the cutoff frequency of the filter. We are going to stop the sequence so it will be more evident. Okay. Okay, uh, now, the filter cutoff frequency is under control of my attention level. You can read it right here. We have 12 parameters to play with. The attention, the meditation level, the 8 band of the power spectrum of the brain activity that are the alpha, beta, gamma and theta waves, and also lambda. 
um, the raw EEG signal that is could be useful to play with your facial expression because it will measure muscular activity on your face. Okay, well, we can try to we can try to modulate something because uh, I will, for example, read uh, something on uh, on the, on the, uh, going from back. Just uh, just an example, and you can see that the, my attention will raise. And uh, uh, this could be used, uh, for example, in many uh, performing arts activity like dance, theater, or other stuff like this. Uh, we actually have a few, a lot of people around the world that uh, are using this uh, uh, thing in a very different kinds of, uh, of activities, like uh, poetry reading, uh, like dancing uh, uh, shows, uh, and uh, also. Uh, um, for example, we have a sound engineer that is using this interface to uh, send, to automate the sound effects to, on the many tracks of the project, just to give uh, the final song uh, that particular moment uh, uh, personalization. So, uh, really, the, the possibilities are endless. Obviously, this is not a clinical device, uh, but uh, the output uh, uh, regarding the uh, brain waves uh, is uh, pretty accurate at this point. Uh, I can show you just for fun what will be. Uh, this is the noise of my muscular facial activity, and you can hear that uh, when I when I blink my eyes or I move my face, there is a, a change in uh, <laughs> in the in the sound. So this is uh, all, all also another way of of, of, of using this. Uh, uh, this stuff, or maybe I could use it to raise and lower the tempo of a sequence, uh, and uh, uh, you name it. Uh, it's, it's really open. It's really a, a, an exploration tool, more than a uh, more than a final device. Um, I think that we are all set. I would like to show you our new uh, our new uh, case. Uh, it's uh, it's really particular because. Uh, uh, we had the idea of uh, putting uh, these mounts on the on the back of the modules, as you can see here. Those are standard mounts, uh, uh, standard holes for mounting uh, uh, your modular on the the, 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 the the normal stuff that you find to mount uh, multiple monitors, like this one here. Uh, these are very cheap equipment, so you can uh, free your desktop of all the clutter and. Uh, Okay, insert some more clutter, as you can see. So <laughs> you really won't go far, but uh, it's it's good to have some more uh, some more uh, some more space in your hand. And it's also some kind of uh, uh, more ergonomic on a on a on a on a live situation or or in in these cases. So uh, I think that we. We are all set. We we saw everything that we that we need. I I, I thank you very much, uh, Sonic State, for this, and uh, we hope to uh, see you again soon.